welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 189. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Hello, everyone. Hey, James. And also joining us today is Ro. Hello, happy people. Hello, Ro. And guest hosting with us today is Blair. Hi. Hey, Blair. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, and how is everyone else? How is everyone else? Shall I start? Yes. <laughs> well, aside from dealing with a interesting... Well, no, interesting is not the right word. Irritating toothache. I'm watching hippos eating watermelons videos while trying to battle my refrigerator for my Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's been uh, an interesting week. Uh, okay. Alrighty then. So yeah, in case I break up in the middle of a sentence, don't panic. It's just my refrigerator came back from the dead. <laughs> Uh, Last question, I have no idea how technology works. It's just the way it is. Just roll with me, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, then. What the, does, what the hell does the fridge have to do with Wi-Fi? Something it's... about motor magnetic frequencies, something, something, dark side, I don't know. I'm an artist, not an electrician. <laughs> well, I was an electrician, but that was three years ago. I totally forgot my electronic training. Oh, okay. I didn't have that kind of a serious training to begin with, so, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, um, I guess it had to do let with... Let me ask you, let me ask you something, Ro. What is, what does your ra- router look like? Uh, it's a box, uh, with an antenna poking out, and let's see, at least five ports, I think, and it has shiny LED lights. Okay, it has, it does have an antenna then. Yeah, it does. Okay, do you know that you can make a signal amplifier by taking a, a Pepsi can or a, f- a, a fizzy drink can, cutting it in the shape of an antenna and putting it around the, uh, uh, like a, like a, cutting it like a dish and putting it around the antenna on the router so it amplifies the signal? You can totally do that. It works. The signal bounces off of the metal in the can and you can amplify your signal with it. That's how I have mine. That's I'm how I amplify enough. my speaker and my phone. That's genius! <laughs> <laughs> that that that's literally how I amplify my signal. I can now have a Wi-Fi outside of the house. <laughs> like my signal reaches halfway through the street. It works really well. Wow. Uh, here I go, people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. You heard this it is here. why Actually, I, I have friends like you, people. I yourself. first heard it on the I first heard it on crack.com. And I tried it and it was like, oh, this is some bullcrap. This is not going to work. Oh, wait a minute. It works. I can't believe it. <laughs> this useless website gave me something useful. I, Besides a lot of awesome World War II facts, this is brilliant. <laughs> well, what about you, James? How have you been? Well, this week has been one of those weeks where I don't want to be myself. Mm-hmm. Because it's been just full of ups and downs and moments where I feel super happy and moments where I am just bawling on a corner and just crying tears. Ah, I I hate being an artist. Why did I put myself in this position? Why do I have to do all these pictures? I hate my life. I hate my life. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, look, a lot of feedback and people are loving the drawings. Yay, but I have a bunch of drawings to draw. Boo. (laughs) But I am doing good progress on the ones that are pending. Yay, but the bills are coming. Boo. Oh, boy. (laughs) Much yeah, and then. right now, as I am re- as I am recording this, I'm doing an acrylic paint for wow. Ronnie Scott that I am going to be giving the guys for the charity auction, and oh, I wow. need to get it completed. Yeah. And if you think that Princess Celestia's mane is difficult to draw in digital, try drawing it on acrylics. <laughs> it's a completely different hell. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's one of the deleted chapters on Dante's Inferno. And on this circle, you shall see people trying to paint Princess Celestia's mane on acrylic paints. And what is that circle below? It's people trying to paint Rainbow Dash's mane on <laughs> acrylic paints. <laughs> oh, is that that hard? Oh, <laughs> shut up, it is. <laughs> uh, it's well, already a nightmare on, tra- on digital. Imagine on traditional. Ugh. I know. Shivering, shivering. What about you, Blair? <laughs> How have you been? What are you up to? <laughs> well, this week has been actually productive. Oh, really, now? Yeah, I finished awesome. few pictures. I'm gonna post them like in a week or so. Plus, I'm waiting for the challenge. Oh, challenge or challenge? Yeah, what like challenge? Uh, 100 headshots. 100 which headshots? Headshots. Yeah, like uh, yeah, like the uh, portrait of the oh, character. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. sweet. Oh, I thought you were saying something about payday. Okay. What? It's only uh... hell. <laughs> what well, what website are you doing it for? Or is it like um is there like a Tumblr for it or something? 
No, no, I just, uh, I'll just release a journal, journal on DA. That's it. Mm, Maybe shared on Tumblr. One of those DA things. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm actually trying to develop a new style. Huh? Actually, it's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Can't wait to see it. Uh, as for me, yeah, nothing much really. Been hanging out with friends, eating food. Pictures on the Twitters. If you go look at and see, yay. Uh, other than that, nothing much really. Been chatting up with the people on the YouTubes with the review show. They're awesome. And, well, the people who are listening to this are also awesome. You guys rock. Woohoo. So, yeah. <laughs> this week is pretty slow. There's not much news in terms of, well, MLP related. There, I'm trying really hard to see what we have in the news and, I couldn't find anything that I can use. That's the word. Besides for the Funko mod and she sandwich shipping from Australia. But yeah, that's just about it. They, they ship from Australia. Nothing much. <laughs> Nothing. Well, not every show is going to be long, man. I mean, yeah, right? True, true, true. But uh, this is a new show, kind of. And you know what? <sighs> Remember them fighting herds? We talk about them a lot. Like I want to pay, I want to play their game, and they got fully funded. They got. Oh, fully, they did it. Yep, they did it. They got fully funded, oh, cool. and yay! They're asking awesome. price of what was it? I forgot, but yay! They're fully funded. But I think you still can fund them if you want. And well, EQD stated a few. Well, let's see, um, six reasons why to fund them. And I agree with most of them. Like, you know, I agree with all of them because um, it's not cheap to make a game and if they have more cash, they can do a lot. So yeah, I can't wait to play the game. I personally did. I got a soundtrack. I can't wait to listen to it. And yay, it's awesome work. It's one of Lauren Faust's first video game that she ever worked on. Yay. Yay. <laughs> And Ro, you need to get this game, man, so we can play it. But of course. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, it's like a fighting games. If he's if he's free, he will let him. Well, he can play the game if 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 his uh, fridge lets him. Oh yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, not a thing. First, yeah. need to battle the <laughs> fridge. Then I'll battle the herds. Well, if he's fighting against me and he is his fridge derp, I got an automatic win. Yay. <laughs> You'll have an advantage, not a win. <laughs> yeah, that is not an advantage, man. That's not a win either. That's just my beard will cross the internet and then strangle you in real life across the globe. <laughs> cheat, Norman. You cheat. We're gonna report you. How? I am not the one. To evil. I am not the one that's DCing. It's Row. <laughs> DC, excuse yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> Your fridge is DCing you. <laughs> Collusion with the fridge. Yay. Uh, but <clears throat> you guys seen the character designs, right? Yeah, the character design yes. is pretty something. <laughs> you guys I think my favorite is the dragon. The dragon, <laughs> the crossbreed horse dragon. Huh, that's cool. Yes. Well, oh. that's pretty hot. <laughs> what about you, Blair? <laughs> oh, you. What about you, Blair? Huh? What about you? Any favorites as for now? I just like uh, read it in. I only read the news about this game. I don't know anything about it. Oh, well, I know that's a finding finding game, well, and I I know the basic design of the characters and stuff. But yeah. You got you got any favorites favorite characters yet? I don't think so. I never. I really didn't play the game yet. Uh, okay. Like, I'll see when it comes uh, when it comes out. All right, all right. James, what about you, man? You have seen a lot of art of this. Any favorites yet? Well, not, I haven't seen a lot of arts. To be honest, I haven't seen much of it. I, I have only been following from the sidelines because I don't really care so much about the game. I care more about the people working on it and the history behind it than the actual game. I will end up buying it because I like to support these people, but I am not sure if I remember the names. I only remember one character. That is a cow. <laughs> I know that her name is Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, really but good. I don't, I don't, I don't remember anyone else. I, so I guess that by, 
By Very process good. of elimination, the only <laughs> character that I know about is Arizona, so I will say, yeah, yeah I like Arizona. It's a good <laughs> character. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. As for me, I like... Sorry, Velvet. guys. <laughs> uh, I like Velvet. Velvet is cute. And apparently, Fisto like Velvet too. Uh, so, yay, this is going to be fun. You know, it's funny, James, that you like Arizona because by proxy you know only know Arizona. Because Arizona yeah. is the proxy for... What should we call it? Yeah, Applejack. And yeah, Velvet Arizona is Applejack. So the, so the Velvet is rarity. The characters. Yeah. Is Velvet it? is rarity, right? Mm-hmm. Velvet will be Velvet will be rarity. Yep, she is. Yeah, uh, just the... you're saying Blair? Yeah, which one is Velvet? Velvet is the deer. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I you. will be quoting Gaston so much if I ever go against it. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh no! I use Atlas for all of my decorations <laughs> or something. Whatever you were singing. Yeah. Oh, wow, I can't wait to play this game. Uh, probably will be finished by 2017, probably. I hope so. But wait, yeah. what? Well, they're building the game, and building a game is not f- easy and fast. Come on. Mm-hmm. Dude, they are an independent studio. Mm-hmm. That, uh, they count the, they, you can count the, you can count the numbers of the people working on the game with one hand. I think that the fact that they got funded and they got so much money to to be able to make the game, that is already a victory. Now we give them time. This is like when we were waiting for the Angry Video Game Nerd movie to happen. And we all were thinking that it wasn't going to happen. And in the end, James Rolfe finished the film and it went out. And it's now on DVD and Blu-ray everywhere and all that. It's like, yeah, you just need to wait. Not everybody is Valve. You're not going to have to wait like decades for them to release a video game. Hmm. Uh, Unless so we're true. talking about Portal or TF2 until they reach number two, of course. <laughs> then they forget how to count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Counting is hard. How does how one count? How many times have yeah. we already brought up Valve and their inability to count to three already in this show? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Not enough. Because it's actually a pretty a pretty shameful thing to do. Like With all the time, <laughs> with all the time that they have had to develop the game, they haven't even released a preview of it. All good, good things restart. take time, my friend. Yeah, well, look at Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> that was not given enough time. Uh, what? Oh, what enough you... time? <laughs> what? Uh, yes, it's not enough time? Nope. Oh. Some things take Bro. a longer time. It's art, man. Bro. It's art. You don't Bro. rush no, it. No, 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 no. You know, you, no, you don't understand. That's not the rule of, like... Things take time. It should have been longer in development. No, when one thing is in development hell for so longer, uh, for so long, so for so much time, sometimes it, it's an indication that it shouldn't happen. Yes. Like, stop trying to make it happen. It shouldn't happen. There are there are good exceptions. Iron Man was on development hell for like ten years before John Favreau jumped in, jumped into it. Like, that movie almost didn't happen, and thank God it did happen, because what a great movie. Other yep. things that were in development hell, the Hobbit movies. Now, argu- arguably, you can say, oh, they shouldn't have happened, they should have made, made three of it, and I'm like, well, they're, they're still fun, they're still good. People who complain about a movie like that, they just, they lost the, the sense of perspective. Um, but other things that have been in development hell still didn't happen. The Bioshock movie, and yeah. I... Dude, I sure hope it never ever happens. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to say about that one. It, it's a matter of personal taste. Personal taste. It's a matter about of how much the money the studio wants to waste. Mm. Oh, that too. Thankfully, yeah. they have come. They have become a bit more sensible. Mm-hmm. Like th- there were rumors of an Indiana Jones five without Harrison Ford in it. Oh, I remember that one. Uh, yeah. And- they were going to bring Shia Booth to carry on the legend, something like that. Oh my yes, God. and the, and and the other the, the other rumor about the pre prequels of Star Wars. Instead of continuing the story where Episode Six left it, they wanted to do a like Episode Minus One no, and go wow. all the way back to the old. To, they wanted to wow. go all the way back to the old Republic. Yeah, something like that. So they want to go Kotor then. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway. Uh, well, that's the news for this week. That's a really short news thing. But Blair brought something up. Discussion. Um, what did you wanted us to talk about, Blair? Something about Shining Armor and Cadence? Yes. They're hmm. having a baby. 
Yay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, after like, like two years of marriage. Oh, come on. Some people take long, some people take fast, depending on their preferences. But yeah, so Blair, you brought this up. What do you want us? To, what What do you want us to talk about? Like, um, bring it up, man. Eh? Like, what do you expect it to like be? Like a girl, a boy. Um, I'm sorry, I'm uh, Philly mm-hmm. cult. Oh. Mm, okay. Uh, alicorn, unicorn. Hmm. Whatever. All right. This is. Like, cool. what do you expect? Hmm. Um. An air pony. <laughs> and then everybody looks at Big Macintosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, wow. I, I don't know. Okay, um, so in all seriousness, I gotta say that the fall for this one, I think it's gonna be a Philly because based on equestrian statistics, the high chance of a Philly coming out is really high. Look at their population rate. <laughs> and yeah. as for Race, I think, is going to be a unicorn, just because the chances of a unicorn is high. Shining Armor is a unicorn. But mm-hmm. in one of the books, Cadence was a, what you call this, Pegasus. So, hmm, hard. It's hard to tell. Could be a unicorn, or it could be a, what you call this, Pegasus. So it depends. If I know, ha- if I know well, Hasbro, if it's, it's going to be an unicorn. But, spoilers, Hasbro, Pull out a toy named Princess Skylar, and that doll is uh, well a unicorn. So <laughs> it is going to be a unicorn. I don't know. I've, I've I saw a few pictures of Princess Skylar, and uh, she was like a recolor of uh, Sweetie Belle. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did look like a recolor of Sweetie Belle. Oh wow! I, I but that was like years ago. If they if they bring the character now, they basically put the toy and then they made the advertisement for it. <laughs> oh, that's not that, that's not usually the way to go. Besides, the, with what we have left of this season, the uh, the, the whole conclusion about uh, the the race of the pony of the baby and all that, we will not know that until season six, if anything. Like, it, it's it's a long way to go. Besides, I am just here hoping that there is an episode where Twilight has to take has to take care of the baby, oh. and it's just uh, it's it's a it's a um, what do you call it? Uh, Madness. Rehearse? No. Um, no, it's a repeat or like a resituation oh, yeah, of the episode. Uh, baby cakes. Because Pinkie Pie oh, yeah. was taking care of cakes. Mm, yeah, yeah that one. and remember how Twilight arrives and she's very smug saying, you know, I know yeah, that yeah, you yeah. have no idea how to take care of the babies. And then put Twilight in that situation. It's like, okay, let's see how you handle this. I don't know. I mean, I, probably an episode like that would happen, but nah, the, the writers are better than that. They, they they know not to repeat something that's already been done before. Indeed. Hmm. Well, we'll have to wait and see about that one. True, true. But I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, if the baby do come out, there's going to be a baby shower and whatnot. So that's one thing. And in terms of an episode, eh, I don't know. Shower. I imagine Discord with a chocolate rain. Why Again? does Discord have to take care of a baby? Oh my god, yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, 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 I am enjoying that idea. Twilight and Discord. That like a sitcom. Make it happen. Oh, I like it. No, this will make it into a sitcom. Oh, wow. Twilight, Discord, and Princess Luna have to take care of Shannon Arbors and Cadence's baby. It will be like three men and a three men and a baby, but it will be like three, <laughs> two ponies, one Draconicus, <laughs> and a baby. Wow, that's, that's going to be fun. Oh, that would my. be something out of the ordinary, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oof. So, we basically... Basically, the story is going to be Twilight, Discord, and Luna take care of Princess Skylar. Okay, I I am liking where this is going. <laughs> what else? What else? Anybody got ideas? It would be so fun if they, if that was like if uh, really like predicted oh. if that actually happens. Well, if they haven't write it yet, it's free. It's free. Go use it, guys, if you want to. It's free. <laughs> More fun facts. You know, 
you know, from the Send from the perspective of <laughs> from the perspective of selling the toy, mm-hmm. I think it's counter counterproductive. Like, okay, let's not kid ourselves. Mm-hmm. My Little Pony exists because they have a product that yes. they want to sell, and yes. they have to sell it by making a TV show about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. good. But releasing a, an episode about a toy that perhaps by the time the episode comes out, it's been like four years or five years since the toy has come out. Because I mean, I don't rem- I don't remember seeing Princess Skyla in the stores as of late. I remember seeing her, seeing the toy in like 2000, 2012, maybe 2013. By the time that the toy come out, that the episode comes out, it will be 2016 already. Maybe 2017 if we have another 11 months hiatus without new pony episodes. So I think it's a bit of a bad idea that they take that long time to release a toy based on an episode. True. Or uh, no, the other way around, to release an episode based on a toy. I mean, that's a bit stupid. Well, true I mean, from that. my perspective, true, true that I I do agree with you on that aspect. Because okay, the the show is meant to sell the toys. Obviously, they did the helicopter, they did the train, and well, they did a lot. So for them to create an episode about well, this one, like has to commissioned them to do an episode about the baby dolls and whatnot. It's a bit um, slow on the uptake, but. In terms of story, this is really good. So I guess it's a catch twenty two right now where Hasbro's commissioning them for this and they're delivering it late or the other way around, I don't know. But in terms of story, I do like where they're going and it will be fun to see. And Shining Armor and Cadence has always been Hasbro's marketing people or marketing horse. They have always been the their marketing couple. Yeah, they are their marketing couple. Yeah, I remember seeing it all over the mall. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what we get. It'll be interesting to see what we get. This this is... I don't know. <laughs> I seriously don't know. Like, what? Uh, just, just, I don't know. I, <laughs> we don't know what to expect. Yeah, I mean... The, it can be anything. True. I mean, as for the toy... I got no idea. It's just strange. As for the show, it's it's a good progression. Like you got you got a couple, they got married. Obviously the next step is babies. Yay. Or divorce. Oh, wow, Ro, you are very, very negative on this one, aren't you? Negative, realistic, well, if man. The, if the baby ends up looking like a changeling, I'm pretty sure that they are going to have a divorce. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. plot twist. It was uh, not Chrysalis who they nuked. Oh. Uh, no, I don't know. I, 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 seen, seen, I seen a lot of comics about um, <laughs> that. So the comics are not canon. Remember that. It's like, no, it's second tier. Or first no, no, tier. no. I'm just uh, fan comics. So no, fan, <laughs> oh, fan yeah. comics don't count, man. I, I mean, yeah, they're fun to read, but they don't count. Come on, <laughs> theorizing on um, a baby changeling is <laughs> not canon. So yeah, we can just use whatever we want. But in curious, Alice is right in a cave in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by Phillies and Coles. <laughs> 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 Your money has That's the latest the month yesterday. once again. <laughs> yes. Where is the money that you need to give us to support your, all your other family? <laughs> Don't make me contact Princess Kate and tell her everything you've been doing behind the scenes. Isn't that one of the comics from Mad Max? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think uh, that will be Brothers did it too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people doing So... I think that's, a, that's all the discussion we can do for this one because clearly we're jumping all over the place. Anyway. We're going crazy. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themvshow.gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's to take out is at the MBS Show. You can reach me at Norman Sanzo. And James, where can they reach you, man? Uh, you already know me, you know where I am. Just browse James Cork on the internet and you will find my stuff. Okay. Ro? You can find me on my Twitter at Relicious underscore art or my DA gallery, Relicious.DeviantArt.com. All right. And Blair, where can the people find you? So basically, DeviantArt, uh, it's uh, Blair231. Uh, Blair231, sorry. <laughs> um, 
Also, I started streaming, so you can find me also on Picardo. Yay! Awesome. I'll be sure to add in links. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us live on PonyvilleLive.com. And Blair, thank you for the awesome 8 bit drawing. Oh, was it pixel drawing or 8 bit? Pixel think, art. Yeah, pixel. That was awesome. Yay. <laughs> no problem. I, I like it. It was very nice of you to do it. <laughs> we will make sure to bring you in uh, next time that we have more. Uh-huh. It's more interesting to also. Although yes. that might take a while because this is how it's been for like the past three months already, Norman? Something like that? No, I think <laughs> some months. Like we got a few guests in here and there, but the news has always been steady. I think this is the first time where we don't have news. Like I, I almost wanted to give up on today's episode. <laughs> Like, no news. Come on, think about it. Like, the only exciting news we can talk about was the mod pie and cheese sandwich shipping from Australia and the them fighting herds we got fully funded and reasons why you should fund them even though it's fully funded. Give them the extra cash. It's worth it. So, it's really slow. That's about it. Plus, this week is Nightmare Nights Dallas. If you're listening to this, it's already passed. But we really will be timey wimey stuff. But anyway, Ro, take us out. Thank you all so much for listening. If you like this podcast, click that like button in the face, a like a boss, and high fives all around. And we will see you next time. We'll catch you next week. Bye bye. Have a good one. Bye.